Hey guys. So I want to talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, one of the things that I love to do is encourage people to love themselves. Like you're okay to be doing what you're doing and you're not a bad person. You're an amazing person and don't let anyone fill your head with anything different. And so, um, I really wanted to just give you some tips on emptying and refilling your echo chamber. Um, this has become something that's kind of a passion of mine is what are you filling your echo chamber with and what are you filling others echo chamber with and what are you allowing into your echo chamber? Um, for many years, I allowed a lot of negativity into my echo chamber and a lot of it was that I didn't know any better and that that's just how I was raised, but now I can make a difference. Now, you know, I'm old enough that I can take responsibility and take charge of my own echo chamber and so um one of the biggest things is i like to just challenge those those thoughts that come into your head so for instance in and i can't say what what might come into your head but for me what comes into my head is like you're not good enough you're gonna fail at it anyways like um you're not gonna get that right anyways and um then when things do go wrong I hear the, I knew it. I knew that's, I knew that that's what you're going to do. Or I knew that was going to happen. And so I like to challenge those. Like you knew it really. How, how did you know? And I, t I, t I say this to myself, not to the person that put these into my head. Um, you're going to fail. Really? Why? Why are you going to fail? What standing do you have that says that you're going to fail? Um, and then a lot of it is just like letting it pass through, letting it pass by. So you're thinking it, here's the negative thought about yourself. Uh, you can't do this, you're not good enough, goodbye. Let it go, don't let it settle in here. I, When I think of my echo chamber, I think of it up in here because that's where our thoughts come from, right? Well, sometimes, yeah, whatever. You could get a little bit deeper on that, but we're not gonna go there. Uh, so I've got, I've got my echo chamber and I've got these things just echoing back and forth in here and these n negative words. And I so love you. I love you too. So then if I feel this with more good than bad, then that negative is just going to like dwindle away. So that's my other tip for you. Make sure that you're filling your echo chamber with something positive and that can be on a daily basis and should be on a daily basis. So I have affirmations like written down right here in front of me actually. And so every time I'm here working or I'm going live with you guys or doing my makeup, I have a bunch of affirmations written down. So I see them every day. Like you're doing this for Elijah. You can do this. Faith over Mommy, fear. Not everybody deserves me. you. Mommy, you got. I don't have anything for you, baby. You are enough. You cannot fail with God. Okay, so those are some of my affirmations that I have up. I see every day. I'm actually the mirror behind me. As you can see, I have, um, it's actually a double sliding mirror. I'm going to be filling that in with chalk marker and writing down some affirmations and daily affirmations that I need to do. I saw this really cool thing where you like draw like a, a rectangle, like a, like a mirror. And then you look into that and you say all the things you have written down on the sides of it, right? So I'm going to do that. Um, I encourage you to try doing daily affirmations and make sure that you're telling yourself enough positive things to counteract those negative things and do not let the negativity settle, okay? Don't let it settle in your mind. Don't give it rent-free space. Don't give it rent-free space, okay? All right, you guys have a beautiful day.